Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here bringing you another video review and today we're going to be doing a DC Universe's Classics review and that's of Wave 2 Figure 2 Aquaman. A little information about Aquaman and very little because I'd be surprised if there's anyone out there that doesn't know Aquaman. Aquaman is the King of Atlantis. In addition to that, he was a core member of the Justice League of America at certain points. Now Aquaman's had a lot of changes to his character personality wise and physically throughout the years. At one point, Aquaman's had his hand eaten off by piranhas, so he replaced his hand with a harpoon. This changed his image drastically overall. They removed the orange shirt, as you see here, and replaced it with a gladiator-like armor up in the Pectorico region. In addition to that, they allowed him to have his hair grow out and grow a beard. Now, Aquaman eventually did turn back to his traditional look, however, instead of the harpoon, they gave him a water hand that was given to him by the Lady of the Lake. This water hand allowed him to create water weapons and water tools. Now, special power-wise, Aquaman can breathe underwater, swim at super speeds, communicate with aqua life, and he has super strength and other super above-human abilities, physically, at least. Now, on to the figure. Well, you don't need to see the box, because we already showed you that several times. So, now it's on to the Aquaman figure. Articulation-wise, he has all the same articulation that all the DC Universe's classic figures have. Up and down, out, all the stuff that you guys have grown accustomed to in my reviews, and if you have the figures. So, the articulation is going to be fantastic. Aquaman does come with one accessory. And that is of this trident, which is very well done and very beautiful. Now, he can hold it in both hands, but this hand seems to be closed up more than the other one. So, you kind of have to, like, force it in there. But other than that, I mean, articulation-wise, he's great, and the accessory is very beautiful. A lot better than Black Manta's trident, so it's very, very nice. So, with that said, let's get into close-ups in my opinion about the figure. Okay, here's Aquaman in kind of just a normal pose. Now, there's two reasons why I didn't spend too much time on articulation. One is because all the DC Universe classic figures have about the same articulation. It's a very standard, uniform articulation, so there's really no need to point out the obvious. The second is Aquaman has so much in this figure that I want to point out as much as I can while I still have time. So, let's start things off with detailing. And the first thing you notice when you get the Aquaman figure is this shirt. The shirt is very nicely detailed, and you probably will not notice this on the camera, but each and every single stud on the shirt stands out. You feel it is a semi-rough surface. In addition to that, they use an ink-like orange color right in certain areas to give it kind of a shadow. That and to make it look like there's a shadow under each stud. That is very nice attention to detail. The next thing on the shirt is on the collar area, and I'm not sure if you'll see that. Maybe, maybe you can. There's a little bit gold rim on the collar, and the gold comes off very nice. It's just beautiful. Now the next thing on detail with Aquaman would be his face. His face is sculpted so very well. First of all, let's point out the skin tone. The skin tone comes off as a light skin tone on my camera, but I assure you it's more of a tan skin tone on my figure. Is, is has a nice good wash over it that makes it just look very detailed. In addition to that, the mold overall is fantastic. The face looks very nice, and the hair looks like he's going through water. It, it's kind of like, you know, swooshing through the water. That kind of look. So the head mold is probably the best head mold out of the whole entire DC Universe figure thus far that I have. Next thing I want to point out is his pants. Now, like with certain figures like Superman Red, or the Green Lantern, or Robin, you don't need too much detailing in the legs, but they put the right amount of a shadow detail into the legs. Just the right amount. Not too much, because too much would have just made it look stupid, but they put a little bit in the side areas here, and in the calf areas there, so it's nice. It, it, it's just the right amount. Now, next is the trident. The trident is absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's gem encrusted. Uh, they use two different kind of color gold. They use a much lighter gold on the standard overall area. 
And then on certain parts, like the star or the studs there, there will be a darker gold. In addition to that, there's a little purple for jewels. The trident is very, very nice, and I think it's the best accessory for the figures thus far. Just absolutely beautiful. Now, in addition to that, they really stay loyal to the character and put fins on his cap. That's pretty nice. And the gloves look very well done. Now, let's talk about these two versions of this figure. There's this version, which has shorter hair and has the black spandex in the crotch region. And then there's another version that has longer hair that's down to about hair and the whole entire pant region is green. Um, I actually thought I was ordering the other version, but I got this one. I believe this is the rare of the two. However, I could be wrong. The alternate versions are usually harder to find. Now, let's just talk about Aquaman as a whole. Aquaman's figure is just a fantastic figure. It's probably, it's in my top five, and it's probably number one or two. It's just a fantastic figure. And to get your hands on him is not an easy task. The reason why I say this is because, first of all, all the way two figures, with probably the exception of Superman, are hard to find. <laughs> Good luck finding them, except for online. I've found very little of them in the stores. And the rarest of the two is Harley Quinn and Aquaman. And the rare of those two is Aquaman. He is ridiculously hard to find. He's going for a lot of money online. So far with the DC Classic range, I really haven't paid more than $10 for each figure. But I really wanted Aquaman, I really wanted to complete Gorilla Grog, so I had to pay a little bit more for him. Um, I had to pay around $30 for him, which is a lot. And I, I promised myself I wouldn't go over a certain standard number for these figures. But Aquaman is really rare. So I suggest if you see him online and you like Aquaman and you want a great figure, pick him up. He's amazing. If you see him in stores, grab him. Because he's a rare figure. He's the rarest of the figures. Him and Harley Quinn. Like I said, no one finds him anywhere. eBay sells him for a lot cheaper, but chances are he's going to be loosened out of the package. And if you're okay with that, then that's cool. Buying him on Amazon, he's going to cost a bit more money. If he's on there. Sometimes he's not even on Amazon. So you need to be careful with that. But on a whole, Aquaman, fantastic figure. Fantastic figure. Uh, one of the best of the DC Classics range, and I suggest picking them up. Highly suggest picking them up. If not for the figure itself, just for the fact that he's rare, and you can use him to complete Gorilla Grog. So, one more quick overall look. Great figure. And either version is good. I mean, there's not much difference, except for in the head mold and in the pants region, they're about the same. So, yeah. So that's Aquaman. I'm going to sign out here. I suggest you pick him up. It's a great figure. I said that multiple times. So anyways, with that said, this is Andrew. I'm going to say peace out for now.